What's up guys? Today I'm going to tell you five reasons why I think you are going to love the new Huda Beauty Empowered Palette and five reasons why you may not love it. So before we get into that, I just want to quickly welcome anybody who might be new to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jen and I usually focus on drugstore makeup and dupes on this channel, but I also do sometimes cover high-end makeup as well. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Okay, so the first reason why I think a lot of people are gonna love the new Empowered palette is because it's a neutral palette. And we all know that most people, I think the majority of people wear neutrals, if not on a regular basis, at least once in a while. I think makeup enthusiasts, people in the beauty community tend to say that neutrals are boring, but I think even those who wear color a lot will still pull out neutrals every once in a while, not to mention everybody that I know in my personal life who doesn't watch YouTube and isn't part of the beauty community wears mostly neutrals almost every day. So I think they'll walk into Sephora, see this palette and grab it because at the end of the day, neutrals are just very easy to wear. I think they're what most people gravitate toward. Reason number two why I think you will love this palette is the formula. In my opinion, Huda Beauty's formula is better than Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. And I think part of that is because I'm not a makeup artist and I sometimes struggle with blending eyeshadows and I think that Huda's formula is just so incredibly easy to work with. Her matte shades have like this silkiness and smoothness to them that just makes them so blendable. And I don't experience this with other brands, particularly the makeup artist brands. I find them to be too pigmented and they tend to grab onto my skin and I feel like I have to blend for a really long time. But with Huda's formula, they just blend like a dream and it just makes it so easy. So that's one of the things I really appreciate about her formula. The other thing I love about it is that she often plays with and includes a lot of different textures in her palettes and that kind of keeps us from getting bored. So for example, just in this palette alone, you have two gel hybrid eyeliners called Purpose and Worthy and these you can use with an angled brush and just create an eyeliner right from the palette or you can use these as cream shadows or as an eyeshadow base as well. So you can do a lot with these. Also, the shade Manifest It is a gel and eyeshadow combination. It has the gel in the center and then shadow around the edges. And when you mix the two together, it gives kind of a glossy appearance. Also in this palette is a crushed gold flake shadow that gives this ultra metallic look to your eyes. Not to mention just her regular creamy, buttery shimmer shades that make a really nice impact on your eyes. So I think formula is definitely a big part of why Huda's palettes are so popular. And then reason number three, why I think you'll love this palette is because I feel like this can be worn by all skin tones. It has such a beautiful range and includes shadows that will work both on my light skin tone, but also has a lot of depth to it. So it's gonna keep it from looking ashy on deeper skin tones. And when you compare it to something like her Rose Quartz palette, for example, that one is a lot more pastel. And you can just see that the Empowered palette is much more suited to a wider range of complexions. Reason number four is that there's a lot of versatility in this palette to create so many different kinds of looks. It has a ton of warm tone shades with the golds, the peaches, the browns. It's very warm overall but it also has some cooler tones, including grays and rosy colors. So I think you can really create a lot of different looks depending on what you're going for. It also goes from lighter shades to really deep. So you can take some of these paler shimmer shades or matte shades and just create a really subtle subdued look or you can grab some of the deeper smokier colors or the metallic flake shadows, let's say, and do a more glam or smoky look. So I feel like not a lot of palettes have this kind of variety. A lot of them kind of stick more to the lighter and mid-tone shades and don't often go very dark. Maybe you'll have like a black shade and maybe one other deeper color, but you can't really create a lot of smoky looks with most palettes. And then there are some palettes that are just too smoky. I think this one just has a great mix of both and you can really really do a lot with it. And then reason number five why I think you're gonna love this palette is that it is very different from Huda's other palettes. If you read the comments on Instagram, on Trend Mood's post about this palette, you'll see a lot of people saying, this looks exactly like Naughty Nudes, or it looks a lot like all of her other palettes kind of mixed together. And 
initially when I saw the promo photos, I kind of thought that too, but as I got this home and I've been playing with it, it is so different than anything that she's done before. And I think sometimes that's the problem with seeing promo photos because you often just kind of jump to this conclusion that it looks the same as other things when in reality it may not. So I wanna quickly show it to you next to Huda's Naughty Nude palette and they're very different. If you look at them side by side, the Empowered palette is, in general, a lot warmer. The golds are deeper and richer. It has those peachy, orangey shades. The Naughty Nude palette does have two of those. And I'm not saying the Naughty Nude palette doesn't have a few warm tones, because it definitely does, but it's overall a much more rosy tone palette. You have some dusty pinks in here as well. So I do think that these are two very, very different palettes. I also saw a few comments comparing it to Rose Quartz, but this one in comparison is very, very, very cool toned and it's very light overall. It has a couple of deep shades in it, but for the most part, this one leans very light to mid-tone and it doesn't really get as smoky as the Empowered palette. And also, if you look at it next to the Rose Gold palette, there are a lot of differences as well. The Rose Gold has a lot of pinks in it. It has that red, it has a green shimmer. Again, you might find a shade here and there, maybe one of the golds or like a gray matte or a warm tone matte that's gonna be. But overall, as a palette, I believe it's different enough where you don't have to feel like buying the Empowered palette is buying the same thing that Huda has come out with before. Because in my opinion, I just don't see it. I think this is very different. Okay, so let's move on now to reasons why you may not like this palette. So reason number one is gonna be Fallout. If you don't like Fallout, you're not gonna like this palette. And I'm not really talking about the matte shades because the matte shades are just ultra blendable, like I said, and I don't notice a lot of fallout with them. It's mainly with the shimmer shades. A lot of these shades are very metallic, especially like the gold flake one. You're gonna get kind of chunky gold flakes down your face as you apply it. I wore this shade the other day, which is kind of like a gray mixed with gold. It's really beautiful, but I had sparkles down my cheeks in a few hours after I applied this, and even kind of when I was applying it, I was kind of like brushing them away from different areas of my face. So I would recommend if you're gonna use this palette to either wet the shimmer shades before you apply them, just to kind of help them hold together a little bit better, or use something like NYX's glitter glue just to really hold everything in place so it doesn't migrate down your face. Reason number two why you may not like this palette is if you don't really wear smoky or deep looks very often. If you never reach for those types of shades and you generally dip into light to mid-tones, you're probably not gonna like this one. Because even though this palette does have lighter shades in it and you can create a few lighter looks, a lot of it is more deep and smoky and I think those shades are gonna be wasted on you if you don't normally reach for those. I think if you like softer looks, you would probably prefer something like the Rose Quartz palette. Even Naughty Nudes, while this does have some deeper, smokier shades, it does also have, I think, more light shades in it than Empowered does, and so does her Rose Gold palette as well. Reason number three, if you do not enjoy wearing warm tone colors, or if you feel like you have a lot of warm tones already in your collection, then you may not like this palette because I feel like it is mostly warm toned. If you prefer cool tones and you wanna try a Huda Beauty palette, I would highly recommend the Rose Quartz palette again because this one is way more cool toned than this one. Reason number four you may not like this palette is because of the texture. So I know that I did list that as a plus in reasons why you might love it, but some of you may not. Some of you, if you don't like wearing cream shadows, you're not gonna like those two cream liners. Those are gonna be wasted for you. And also you're not gonna like the one that has like the gel mixed with the powder that kind of comes off creamy. And also there's another cream shadow down here that has like a marbled effect that also feels like a cream. Also, if you have crepey eyelids and you're trying to avoid things that are more metallic, that'll accentuate any kind of texture on your eyelids, you're probably not gonna like this palette as well because these are not very smooth shimmers. There are a few that are, for example, those two cream ones that I mentioned. Those, I'm actually wearing one of those today. I'm wearing the gel powder mixture on my lid and that one actually is very smooth. But all the other ones that I've worn in this palette are a little bit more flaky, a little bit more metallic. So if you prefer a smoother shimmer shade, then you're probably not going to enjoy this palette either. And then that brings me to reason number five that you may not want to go out and buy this palette. And that is if you already have something similar in your collection. So generally when I talk about new eyeshadow palettes, I love to show comparisons to other palettes in my collection. I know I've already kind of showed you comparisons to other 
regular Huda palettes, but I wanna show you some comparisons to palettes from other brands that I think are really, really similar. So let's go ahead quickly and take a look at that. Right, guys so overall I think I've given you five really good reasons to buy this palette and five reasons you may not want to buy this palette so now it's up to you I'd love to hear from you down in the comments are you planning on picking this one up are you planning to skip it so I'd love to hear your comments down below and as always I truly appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend it here with me and for clicking on this video I really do appreciate it so much again if you're not subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go and i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys bye